Okay, the purpose of this uh, short video is just to show a basic setup that I use to get eggs out of pyrids. Traditionally, I would build a, a wood base where I would take uh, a bottle with water and uh, place it in one of the holes, place the host plant in and take a let's see, small cage and place on top. And then the females would lay eggs when you would expose this cage to the sunlight. You'd always want to place a, a host plant between the females and the sunlight so the females would go to the host plant. Um, but what I've done recently is kind of ch taken that same principle and build what I uh, call a portable cage. On the left here, we've got, to take the lid off, we have a iris napi female looking to lay eggs even as we speak. Unless she flies away, which is very possible. Let's see if I can zoom in on her. She Now she's nectaring on the, this is a Brassica nigra and Cecimbri maltissimum. For a moment there, she had her ovipositor up, uh, getting ready to lay. Um, at the base of the cage is an upside-down plastic container with holes drilled in it, and um, there's water in there, so that's what's keeping the plant succulent. Um, she's laying even as we speak, and she's walking around. Um, here she goes. Oops. I am trying to focus this as best as I can. And she's already laid a few eggs on this plant. And so what's nice about some of these mustards is they serve both as a nectar source for the females way as well as a place to overposit. And she's just flown off. I'll get here get her here in a second. Um, that's why it's important to keep the lid on. <laughs> Up to the right here we have a similar cage. Let me pull that up. And see if I can find there's an Anticaris Stella uh, Stella female from Lincoln County, Wyoming. Um, again, there's an upside down container. Uh, fastened to the bottom of this cage. It's been secured there with actually post mix. So this is one unremovable unit. Um, there's five or six uh, pieces of Erebus in there for the female to lay eggs on. And usually an Anticaris female will lay uh, between 20 and 30 eggs the first uh, two or three hours in a setup like this. If she doesn't lay eggs, it usually means she's virgin or she's egged out and has already laid most of her eggs out in the field, so I would just recommend setting up an Anticaris female in a setup like this for just a couple hours and then turning her loose regardless of how many eggs she laid. So that's just an overview of a setup that I use to get eggs out of uh, pired females. Thanks.